Hey everybody, there has been an update on Hannah, so I wanted to bring that for you guys. It's a huge twist in the case. The twist in the disappearance of a Maui woman after landing at LAX last month. Investigators are trying to determine if Hannah Kobayashi is involved in a possible marriage scam. KTLA's Jennifer McGraw in our news center with more on that. Jennifer, good morning. Hi, Frank. Good morning. Hannah possibly caught up in a scam marriage before disappearance is just the latest in this twisted tale of the missing Maui woman. The Los Angeles Magazine reporting that sources tell them Hannah may have been intertwined in an alleged marriage scam with an Argentinian national before her disappearance. They say she landed at LAX on November the 8th with her alleged new husband, Alan Cacasse, and his girlfriend, Mariana just days before she was seen crossing the border into Mexico. And sources say she may have been scammed out of money after allegedly marrying the man. Her mother, Brandy Yee, allegedly discovering the immigration documents at her daughter's home in Hawaii that showed she was working with a, in contact with an immigration attorney. Hannah's sister has done multiple interviews about her sister's disappearance and says this is completely out of character. This is her speaking to News Nation. This is just absolutely out of her character i feel like my sister and i are close enough for her to to let me know if she's like in distress or if something like really dramatic was happening in her life a statement on behalf of the kobayashi family was posted online it reads in part quote we want to stress that the family has not publicly announced any information regarding an alleged marriage because we did not have the facts or the necessary documents to verify the legitimacy of this information. The statement went on to ask the public to not jump to any conclusions or spread any unverified claims. And also later on, we're going to hear from LAPD's Chief McDonald about her disappearance and the investigation, if anything, is happening. That's the very latest. I'm live in the news center. I'll send it back to you in the studio. And how are the numbers looking? We're landing at... As of now, I haven't seen anything from the police department posted yet. I just checked to make sure on X. I checked on Facebook. I'm checking again on Facebook just to make sure. And I'm going to play one more. Um, One more news report here. I did see this is a picture actually from the scam marriage um, they're talking about. These are the pictures that are going around for the scam marriage. And then I'm going to play this. This is from the family. Hannah's family says search is far from over. now saying Hannah Kobayashi was last seen at the U.S.-Mexico border. Her concerned loved ones are now responding to the shocking development. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos, live in Hollywood, with the latest for us. Annie Rose, good morning. Hey, Frank, good morning to you. Yeah, the LAPD actually traveling down to the U.S.-Mexico border in order to uncover these new details. And what they found was that Hannah Kobayashi crossed into Tijuana, Mexico on November 12th by herself. Police also saying this is a woman with a strong desire to disconnect. We reviewed video surveillance from U.S. Customs and Border Protection, which clearly shows Kobayashi crossing the United States border on foot into Mexico. She was alone with her luggage and appeared unharmed. 
the investigation has not uncovered any evidence that Kobayashi is being trafficked or is the victim of foul play. She is also not a suspect in any criminal activity. Additionally, the investigators noted that before departing Maui, Kobayashi expressed the desire to step away from modern connectivity. On November 8th, 30-year-old Hannah Kobayashi landed safely at LAX from Maui, and instead of getting onto her connecting flight to New York City, she left the airport and in the days after was seen at multiple locations right here in Los Angeles, including at the Grove and at a metro station near the Crypto Arena. Police confirming she traveled through the MTA and got to Union Station where she bought a bus ticket to get to the border and pass through into Mexico. She has a right to her privacy and we respect her choices, but we also understand that the concern her loved ones feel for her. A simple message could reassure those who care about her. I want you to see this family and I want you to know that she is so loved. So many people love you. You're just a beautiful girl inside, outside, you know, just reach out if you can. Hannah's family coming here to Los Angeles in search of her after receiving texts from her that they say were out of character. On November 24th, Hannah Kobayashi's father, Ryan, committed suicide near LAX just days after flying into town to search for his missing daughter. And this morning, we're also learning new details about the person who was seen with Hannah while she was riding on the metro here in Los Angeles. Police uncovering the two met while at LAX. That individual cooperated by allowing himself to be interviewed with his attorney present and family members. Uh, he gave a full disclosure of the entire sequence of events. We utilized independent investigative techniques to verify his story and it fully checked out. And new this morning, we're hearing from Hannah's family, releasing this statement in reaction to the police's new details, saying they're grateful to law enforcement and remain hopeful Hannah is safe, adding the search is far from over, and we are committed to doing everything possible to bring her home, trying to avoid speculative conclusions. Now, the LAPD also telling us that their search for Hannah will not continue into Mexico. They say they have done all they can at this point, and that Hannah's case is now being considered a voluntary missing person. Reporting live, Annie Rose Ramos, KTLA 5 News. I am now a person in law. And this is the family's response to the scam marriage. Part, the family has not publicly announced any information regarding an alleged marriage because we did not have the facts or the necessary documents to verify the legitimacy of this information. All of this comes after the LAPD announced on Monday that Kobayashi was seen safely crossing the border into Mexico unaccompanied three weeks ago. Her family tonight says they are focused on verifying the details and the leads they've received, and they are asking for patience. So we just have to wait, and I will definitely give you guys updates and keep you guys updated on anything in her case. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great night. Sending love and light to all. Mm -hmm.